please remember to like and subscribe. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons for supporting the channel. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days Today, Where's UK mod? So yeah, I, the previous episode was a little bit echoey. I'm bringing the uh, mic a little bit closer to my mouth, trying to make sure I talk softly. That's a big thing. If I talk too loudly, there's an echo. So I need to talk so softly, but it's so difficult. Okay, so first we accept this one. Now that we have this quest, we can actually quickly drop stuff over here. Um, we can actually wear this one. But all of this we don't really need right now, so I'm just going to drop it over here. We're going to pick this up on the way out of this place. Uh, it says we need to go upstairs. This thing I think there's downstairs. Uh, is the final stash but if we can't reach the final stash guys we're not gonna go for it i think it's in like a bunker kind of thing i need to be careful i can't afford to get stuck like this last time we were in the building like this we actually got a ton of wandering dogs or like the canine dog unit and for those of you who don't know in alpha 20 or alpha 19 the dog unit is like guppy dogs and monsters and stuff so we need to be super super careful right now Yeah, it's a shame we don't have... Can I actually quickly stick you? There you go. It's a shame we don't have... Oh, the quarantine. It's a new name. Uh, if we had a bow and arrow, we could actually get this one's attention from further away. See, this is the... Oh, this is the final stash room. Yeah, I forgot. So we might actually be able to get the final stash quickly. Only problem is, I want to get closer to him without using my weapons and stuff. Yeah, there's the finals. I thought this was the one with the bunker, but it's not. Okay, so I wonder... Shotgun! Can't afford to get caught off guard. I hit the spider wolf. It makes it so hard for me to actually hit them when they're in spider stones like that. Okay, so we are going to be a little bit more encumbered. I hope that we get some steroids. Although I doubt it. Okay, no, uh, scrap, 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 everything we don't need, scrap. Even I think for now, bullet tips and stuff to scrap. Eggs we're going to use, it's just one electrical part, although it might be one too many. Rotting flesh we can drop. This one goes on medium-sized firearms. I wonder if this counts. No, and this one? Yes, okay. See, the more space we can make like this, the better. Unfortunately, we don't have a wrench, because then we can just go and wrench the office chair as well. Because now to get to the base is going to be such a pain, guys. If you're encumbered like this, or as much as we are, it makes it so hard to move, like insanely hard. So the final fetch should be right here. We should be able to reach it right through the wall of here. I'm not going to go to where all the zombies are and part through the whole place just to find this thing. Please tell me it's right here. We are encumbered by eight items and there's still stuff outside. That goes to show how much encumbered we are. Okay, so if I destroy this one on top, we should be able to reach. Guys, remember, zombies can now crawl through a one by one like this. So even the top block like this, they can crawl through. Be careful. It makes the game much more challenging and fun, knowing the zombies can get you at any time. Okay, scrap that for one stone. Use the stone to repair. Let's go. It would be cool if we can get to the trader before midnight. Because that means we can actually hand in these quests and accept new ones before... Yeah, before it closes. But for now, I don't think we'll be able to do that. We're going to have to... Well, we can actually use the night time to at least get back to the base. But other than that, we're going to be so encumbered, we won't be able to move right now. So I want to try and just at least... We should have some short iron pipes, but the trader should also have some as well. I'm actually thinking of just doing this. Uh, old cash can actually sell for a bit, so I'm going to keep that. Jars we drop. Lead we might need. Um, this one... This only goes on vehicles, and you get this all over. But then again, we have two now, so that's going to come in handy when we get on minibike. Okay, that zombie that just died was because of nighttime. That means tougher zombies are spawning in because that one gave up. So when I go back now, I need to turn my... Well, no, but we have feral sense. So even if I turn my helmet off, the zombies will still be able to tell where I am. The nice thing is I made it so that it's more or less a Romero uh, game. The zombies do walk. There are dogs and ferals and stuff that do run. For example, this one over here is a slow one. But he's one of the very few that actually just walks. Ooh, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting about that landmine. Because they change so much in the game, there's a chance that that landmine might be active. 
stuff that you knew of the old game isn't in the game anymore or they changed it so much you have to be careful uh buckshot this is for shotgun ammo but we, we can find more ammo on our own so i wonder if i shouldn't just try and scrap that that's gonna give us some lead why are some of these zombies just dying it actually bothers me when they just die like that for no reason because it makes me worry hey, what is that over there a big ass chicken just please don't tell me the chicken's gonna attack us as well this is oh the balls do attack you no Okay, unfortunately, this boar, I think, is going to attack us. Are you? Crispy bacon? I should be able to actually kill it for some meat. Nice, one shot. And yeah, I was afraid that it's going to kill us. Oh, nice. It's unfortunate that we don't have ammo, but now it's a nice scope as well. Guys, we need to keep our ears open. If we, if we hear any movement at all, we need to move. The nice thing is we do have our frames right next to our guns. So as long as we keep our frames and we can just stack up quickly, we should be safe. Do I have any... No, my only stamina drink is in the chest at the base. Damn it. See, being able to run away now at full speed would help so much. So guys, if we can take over this PR over here. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Oh no, there's a vulture up there. That's level 3, uh, 350, that's a big one. But yeah, over here, I made my base on that building over there, in my other series. Ooh, I just hope Feral Sense doesn't wake up the bird right now. I'm actually getting chills just thinking about it. The zombies definitely woke up and they're sensing me, so I need to run around quickly. At least I should be safe with my shotgun in hand. But guys, if we get infected by a vulture this early on, uh, it is impossible to heal yourself. Because you need like advanced med kits and stuff to be able to heal yourself when a vulture attacks. Okay, damn, I need to run. This is so creepy and dangerous at the same Oh, there's a spider zombie. Nope. You're gonna jump over, right? Turn around. Yeah, as you guys can see, the spider zombies are a real threat now. They look creepy as well as well. They have like a really weird spine. Which looks really creepy. Okay, if I can make five of this. Go for my skill points. Go for pack meal. That is what? Level four. It is so nice. You get your three, uh, three extra slots so easily. I love the changes that Wazuka actually brought in. It used to be, I think, you have to have like level seven strength to get your pack meal that high. But now, it gives it to you way easier. I'm just going to leave the zombies behind. That cop can chase me all at once. Unless there's something is a feral over here. Yes, um, unless something's a feral, I'm not going to try and kill it. We just need to run, run, run. Okay, you're kind of a feral, but I should be able to outrun you. I just hope these farmlands over here don't have dogs. I want to loot so much of the stuff right now. Oh, there's a dire wolf. 700 HP. A ton of meat, though. So if only I had a proper gun, I could actually get so much meat from that. Okay, I'm going to save myself some effort. Just jump over over here. As soon as I fire a shot, that dire wolf will wake up. And that's the last thing I want right now. If a dire wolf was to attack me right now, I'd definitely shoot it. Uh, first stack up, obviously, because we can't outrun dire wolf. Come on, Jean, come on, Jean, come on, Jean. There's a dog or something in front of me. That's not good. This dog is definitely going to attack me. Unfortunately, we don't have ammo for this gun, so I can't even lure the dog closer. That thing's definitely going to attack me as soon as I get close. Okay, so hopefully when I shoot these zombies over here, this dog will get closer. That is a new design of dog, though. That's cool. It almost looks like a German Shepherd. Okay, it's giving up on me. Nice. If I don't have to worry about the thing, then I'm just going to leave it. What is that? Oh, that's a burnt bunny. I'm so, so paranoid at the moment. Especially with that dog just chilling over there. See, at the moment I get close to it, it's going to attack me. I wonder if I shouldn't try and make myself... Oh, we need more iron. Oh, I, or leather, I think. I want to try and make myself some more armor. Come on, doggy, get closer. White wolf. Oh, that's new. 
See, we don't have anything that can actually get ranged down. Oh, wait, wait, we do. I just want to be able to draw it as close as I can kill it for the meat. And then I don't have to worry about it attacking. It's a, it's a wolf. It's not a dog. So the chances of this one actually attacking me is much higher. Yeah, if I can kill all these zombies this way. Oh, that cop is still chasing me. And a feral lady as well. Oh wait, is the cop there? I can't see the cop. Guys, but we are going to run out of shock and ammo if we're not careful. At least Alpha 20, getting ammo is much easier now. As long as the zombies drop loot, but it feels like where's UK, the zombies don't really drop that much loot. And this is just my imagination. Okay, that one's stuck behind some- oh no, she's coming. As you guys can see, these pipe weapons reload so slowly. So if you're inside a pure eye trying to get to safety, and all of a sudden you need to reload, that's almost nearly impossible. Okay, um, let's do this. If she runs at me, okay, I can't afford the reload. There you go. Okay, if I repair this, I can actually pick this up. There you go, and then I want the meat from this dude. It's actually a really cool design. I love that design. Okay, now we need to get around this trader without getting teleported too far. See, that's a problem of living right next to a trader. Since it's nighttime, it will teleport us away. And if it teleports us next to a zombie or something, and we don't have reloaded guns, we have a problem. So for the moment, I need to make sure we can actually get ourselves a base. And I'm really thinking of that pure eye I showed you guys earlier. Because I even made the horde base in the parking lot. It's not that hard. Okay, crouch, do this. Now, let's see what we can stack. Oh wow, <laughs> not really much. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop everything then. What do we need? We need shot. No, we can open up these first. These you open up and then you put them downstairs. Wait, like so. Like so. So you left click. Left click. And then you destroy them with an axe. Guys, remember, be careful not to place them accidentally on these lines. In Alpha 20, the nice thing now is, look at this. When it shows pink like this, it means it's going to cave in. Even when you're, uh, with your structural integrity. As soon as it shows pink, no, it's going to fall. But white or green, when it's claimed, um, shows you, okay, it's uh, go ahead, it's fine to place. And it works, I think, with everything, even your forges. So say, for example, this block, you have it out to its max. And you want to try and put a forge on top of that, it's going to say, no, 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 this is too heavy. So now structural integrity is so much easier. M60 machine gun. This is awesome. And an anvil. The only problem at the moment is, let me just do this. Um, the only problem at the moment is that it gave me a mo uh, armor that I already had. I'm going to try and see if I can't make myself another armor though. So if we can scrap this one. I think we need this. We need this. And we need... What else? Wood. I don't think wood, right? Or the duct tape. I want to make myself some more scrap armor. Okay, uh, we need some duct tape, yeah. Uh, do we have duct tape? See, I needed this on us. So if we're encumbered, we can drink that and we'll be able to run faster. Hello? Oh, there's a dog in the tree. I need to be careful of that dog. Oh, it's a good thing we just heard the dog. Okay, uh, yeah. The iron arrows for now, we don't really need any arrows. We're not using them at the moment. Um, do we have any duct tape at all? I could have still only had some duct tape. That is so bizarre. Okay, at least we do have cloth. Did I drop stuff somewhere and forget to pick it up again? It feels like it. Because even cloth, I could have sworn... Unless cloth looks different again. Oh, there you go. Honestly, I could have sworn we do definitely have some cloth. Yeah, I should probably try and see if the trader doesn't... I think the trader only opens at 6, unfortunately. So if we can perhaps just make a quick base for ourselves. Then at least in morning... Uh, as soon as it turns morning, we'll be able to quickly go there. Okay, now, let's see. For clothing... I want to make myself... Oh, we need the leather. I want to make myself some uh, scrap armor over here, but if we can invest a little bit into the heavy armor over here, it's actually going to allow us to make better quality. Although at the moment, we just need one of these um, to be able to make up for the fact... Uh, as soon as we get another one of those mods, those uh, rucksack mods, at least we can put it on one of these armor pieces. Okay, so for now we need boots. And let's make leg armor 
I don't think we have either of these. Yeah, boots, leg armor, and then we still need the gloves. So we just need one more duct tape and we'll be able to do that then. As this M60 is going to be help us so much during Horde Night. I can't wait to try it. Okay, where's the other one? There you go. Okay, so we're just going to drop all of this stuff quickly. The moment we can actually hand this in, we should be able to get, since nighttime reset, we should be able to get some uh, quite some good loot at the trader right now. Or rather, a new quest as well. It's a shame we didn't level up even more because I could have gotten way more stuff as well. Okay, so this one instead of the M60. And then pistol ammo because we don't have any more 7.62 ammo left. And I think in Wiz UK, getting ammo is actually much harder at the moment. But where's all my shotgun ammo? I need to go through row through row like, or row by row like this. Because I'm really struggling to see the textures. I definitely had like, a, oh yeah, my shotgun ammo is over here. From there, I was like, where the hell's my shotgun ammo? I can't understand it. Okay, this wolf, oh, this is a wolf. Let me just quickly get this wolf's attention. And then even the bunny, no, the bunny's going to run away. Unfortunately, they don't aggro when you shoot them. Yeah, come all the way closer. And then, there you go. Unfortunately, destroyed the head, so that's a little bit of meat lost. Also, guys, we were debating this during one of the streams, but I've always noticed if the head is still there when you kill the zombie, uh, the wolf, and you skin the wolf, the head goes first, the HP we just saw on the body remains the same. So you get extra meat for the head, basically, because you get some meat from the head, and it doesn't do anything to the HP of the body itself, if that makes sense. We were actually arguing about this as well, but I really, uh, as far as I know, that's the case. As long as you destroy the head first and it doesn't do any uh, damage to the HP of the body, you can actually get quite a bit done. Okay, I'm actually going to try and see if we can't make ourselves a campfire over here. We do have a cooking pot and a grill. Boom, boom. So this is going to be nice. We were able to make ourselves some proper food. Although we can't make bacon and eggs, unfortunately. We just need to put one point into that skill. I'm actually confused right now. Pack meal, how much more slots? Carry four more items. But that's one, two, three, four. What about the other three slots? Unless I'm missing something right now, we should be able to get all those easily. Anyways, uh, I want to make sure everything's reloaded. Remember guys, this gun reloads really slowly as you guys can see. But make sure when you use it, it's reloaded. Or when you go somewhere, you always, always, always make sure you're reloaded first. After you use it, if there's no zombies, reload immediately. Okay, cash, we're going to get some more. Unfortunately, we can't invest any more over here at the moment. If I can get this one maxed out, guys, we'll be able to get so much more rewards for our stuff. And if we can get this before we do 10 quests for the trader, then we'll be able to get from each trader two rewards for basically doing 10 quests. As far, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's see. Um, any jobs? I have you. What do you have for us? I need something. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me steroids. If I can get some steroids from one of them, then at least if we are encumbered, we can just make sure we drink some and then we're fine. When you buy 19,000, that's super expensive. Uh, okay, you don't have. Unfortunately, we do have some lockpicks. So I wonder if I shouldn't try and open these safes in the middle. Okay, more shark and ammo. Yes, thank you. Any more jobs? See, all of this is very far away. This might be one that we are busy doing at the moment. So let's go for this one. Brilliant. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. Uh, kind of. Okay, so let's just make sure we get everything from him that we can. Well, vegetable. Okay, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he has any for us. Ooh, I need a hunting knife. It's a shame that I, I can't get more cash from the traders right now. If I had a hunting knife, we could do way more damage than with a bow knife. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die. Wipe that smirk off. Okay, your do face. this. Doing one job doesn't make us pal. Bitch, 740 meters. Yeah, cool. As long as it's not the Jericho Ranch, that's awesome. The Jericho Ranch, if I'm not mistaken, is a really tough one. If you got the dupes, I'll make the time. Okay, shock and ammo. Ooh, needle and thread. The working man and woman can never have enough pockets. I think that's where you get the last three. Basically, you can make yourself some pockets that you put on your clothing instead of your armor. I wonder if I shouldn't take this one instead of shotgun ammo. No, but then again, early game, guys, we need ammo. 
We need ammo like crazy. It's a shame we only got a level 2 when we started. If you're lucky, you can actually get a number a level 3. Period supplies, fetch. What's this? Yeah, Office. Always, this is okay, all of these are different ones now, so we shouldn't have to worry. Do you want to try and see, though? Can't we perhaps get lucky and get some steroids? Yes, steroids. We just need one steroid, so as soon as we encumbered, we can just use it. And see me sometime. I will definitely do so. Okay, we have lockpicks outside, if I'm not mistaken. I should probably just do this so I can get away in case there's a wolf or something outside. Okay, now. Um, did we level up from all of that? Yes, we did. Okay, so I could either go now immediately into Daring Adventure. But I think for now, since we want to make some food, let's go one in ya and one for stamina. Which then at least we can make ourselves some bacon and eggs quickly. And we don't have to worry too much. I mean, look at that, 150 meat. That is insane. I think at the moment, guys, we're doing really, really well. Six bacon and eggs, not bad. Uh, need to make sure our food and water is full before we go as well. So there's no water actually at the moment that we can drink. That's just dirty water. This honey, I want to keep for when we get infected. So at the moment, we're going to keep this one, drop this one, keep this one, keep, keep, and drop. Okay, I should, I should probably not run around with the casino tokens. One, two, three, four, five, and we lock these. Now, if we sort the inventory, these are going to stay intact. Okay, we only have four lockpicks. So I think for now, I shouldn't lockpick anything. We do have these safes downstairs, but anyways, our loot stage is so low that the loot we're going to get inside is really, really, really crappy. Okay, now, where are all these quests? Wait, did I hand in everything? Because I could have sworn there's another quest over here that we want to accept. One, two, three. Where's number four? Wait. Are one of these the same? No, it can't be. Okay, this one doesn't show, but I've definitely spoken to all the traders of here, so I didn't make sure we handed in all the quests because if we didn't, what can I get you today? then that's going to cause us to not be able to complete the other one. So, what are you buying today? I should probably see if I don't have a job with him as well. Next. So, left corner, right corner, and then we've checked all the traders at least. We have great prices. Next. Okay, so all of these we definitely have quests with. It just shows the other one not there yet. Since we handed in all these quests, we should be able to quickly do this one that's first. So we do this one and then these two fetches together. It's just a shame, guys. We need to make sure we kill as many zombies as possible now while we're out and about like this. So I'm going to be shooting like crazy. Because the thing we need right now... Oh, it's going to be a while until we get a shotgun. So because it's going to be a while, we won't be able to make another repair kit soon. I need to keep that in mind as we go. But yeah, basically, because we can't make another repair kit after this one, if this gun breaks, it breaks. We're going to have to make you with pipe weapons until we get another shotgun. And hopefully it's a crappy one so we can just... Oh, wait, wait, wait we do have shotgun parts. Oh, was that robotic parts? I always get confused between the two. But as long as we have some of those parts, we will be fine. Look at guys, these transformers over here give you steel, as well as a, a lamppost. Sometimes the, uh, these actually give you two steel bars. So if you really need some steel, you know exactly where to go. I just realized I didn't grab any food or water when we left the uh, POI. So I think I'm going to cut out the running. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut out the running over here, and then I'll see you guys again when we get to the POI. I want to try and see if we can't do all three of these now. Okay, so this one might be a fetch quest, I think. No, a clear quest. Okay, it's going to be a clear quest. We're just really going to kill as many zombies as possible, as fast as possible. So I'm going to waste some ammo right now. We want to make sure we kill these zombies really, really fast. So we just do this. Also, guys, be careful. These lockers over here. Oh, nice. These lockers over here actually sometimes have some rucksacks as well. If you can run uh, find rucksacks like that, it's going to help you tremendously. Okay, it seems we have to pause. Oh, hello. Imagine it gave me something awesome just now. Uh, it seems you have to pass a path this way through. Um, I want to make sure we shoot the zombies up. We just need to go through this place as fast as possible. The faster we get through this place, the better it's going to be for us. Hello. I remember, guys, Feral Sense, the zombies from all over will come for us right now. But if we can quickly kill all these zombies fast, before the other zombies show up, that's going to be cool. I don't want to loot any of the kitchen stuff for now or anything. We're just going to kill zombies and loot the final stash. Um, 
I need to be careful not to take too much damage right now. Okay, if the, if the food is open or in the open like this, I'll definitely take it. But other than that, there's no point. So the final stash, there might be a vulture up top, I need to be careful. The final stash is over here, there's a room over here. Ooh, that caught me off guard just now. Okay, so you can jump through over here if you want to. Let's quickly do some medical. I want to see if we can't get lucky and get ourselves more steroids. Okay, come out. I don't want to destroy the loot. I love it when they stand on the line like that. It makes it so much easier to hit them. Be careful, Jean. Be careful. Okay, return to trader. Nice. See, so that was easy enough. Ooh, I might just have to use the other command again to be able to see the HD graphics. It seems the HD graphics have failed on us. We do have breaching rounds as well, but it's just nice quickly just damaging the block like this. Now, especially with the breaching rounds of here, we'll be able to break into safes easy enough. And I can't wait to actually try that as well. This one's 2.6, 10.1. Okay, this one's better. Scrap that one. I want to make sure that we're constantly making space as well. We can't afford to be encumbered at all. This one's done. This one's done. And we need to get the bookcases. The bookcases are always, always important, guys. We need these schematics. These ones we can sell, and HD ones we can scrap. Okay, I'm gonna cut away, and then we're gonna. I'll see you guys back when we're at that fetch who's over there. If I can manage to finish all three this uh, episode, that's gonna be really, really, really awesome. Okay, so see you guys there. Okay, guys, I'm kind of terrified right now. This guy's usually in the wasteland. The fact that he's just chilling over here in the middle of nowhere actually gives me some despair. Also, there's a feral cop on that other side of there is following me at the moment. As you guys can see, I'm running really, really, really fast, and it's because I actually drank the other drink. I want to make sure that we are able to just quickly get through these places. These are going to be fetch quests, so hopefully we get these things really, really easily. If we struggle too much, that's going to suck. Come on, please, please, please. Hopefully these fetch quests are easy enough. Come on, I need rucksacks. I'm hoping that by doing this, we can actually quickly get the new rucksack. I think dumpsters are the only one, uh, things that I'll loot over and over and over. To make sure we get the best out of it. I probably thought that was a wolf. As the, the grass being able to move like this really gives me the creeps. Hello. I need to make sure that I do headshots to kill them as fast as possible. Oh, there's a wolf somewhere. Oh, that's not good. Come on, reload, reload, reload. And wolf outside. Oh no, that's bad. Can I open this up? Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your meat. It is much appreciated. But yeah, now finally we did this quest as well, so we can quickly head back to the trader. Did I do all the quests down the map of here? Oh yeah, the other one's way up. Well, the other two are way up there, right? Or one. If I can actually manage to do all of these now, that's going to be epic. But I don't think I'll be able to get all of them now. I'm going to cut away again and then see you guys as soon as we get to this next one over here. Okay, so for some reason, it doesn't show the drink that I just drank. It's on this side over here. It's right here. So if I quickly break through over here, I'll be able to quickly grab it. We don't have to go for the final stash, we just have to fetch. Nice. Now that, now that that one's done, let's just quickly do this fetch as well. Guys, right, so we're basically looting the whole town. It's weird that it doesn't show how much time I have left on the drink I just drank. I just hope it's long enough, because at the moment, I have no idea when this is going to run out. Please, rucksack. Damn it. Yeah, yeah um, as you guys can see, we are running super super... I wonder how long this is going to last. Does it show anywhere? Quantum, one more minute. Okay, so it gives us enough time to quickly get to the other side of town over here. You guys, the fact that we're getting so many quests and see the fetch quests, you do them this fast to be able to make sure you get everything done. You just level up, you get a ton of quests, you get a ton of rewards. You don't have to clear the whole pure eye. Because especially with this mod, the loot is so abundant, you'll definitely get more sometime. You don't have to worry too much about stuff like this. And this one we already did, so the zombies are not going to be here. I think every time we come across more zombies and dogs and stuff, kill them immediately. Obviously, we can't afford to kill every single zombie we come across because of the ammo restraint, but XP, guys, we need to level up. 
I'm in a really, really dire need of some more XP at the moment. And we ran out of the drink. Well, there's only like a few seconds left. At least my stamina, while we loot stuff like this, my stamina regens quite a bit. Come on, please tell me something here. See, I don't want to really loot these um, dumpsters if I'm not actually recording like this. Because then at least if I'm recording like this, you guys can see that I actually got the rucksack. I don't want to... Uh, it, might, it might look like I spawned it in if I do it another way. I want to make sure you guys see that I'm playing this game legit at the moment. Okay guys, so we have a little bit of a problem over here. This forest biome where I'm running through right now, I've already ran past... Oh, there you go. I was about to say, I was, I've run past so many of these dogs already. It's just about uh, just a matter of time before more start showing up. There's one over there, there's one over there. Oh, there's a massive spider over there. There was one at the back over there. So I need to be so careful when running. See, even with the wolf over there. I need to be so careful when running that we don't accidentally... Oh crap. Don't break your leg, John. Don't break your leg. This wolf as well. Okay, and do this. Thank you. That was actually way too close for comfort. I need to make sure my shotgun's always, always, always reloaded. Come on. As you guys can see with zombies all over, it's so easy to run out of stamina. Almost one of the tougher zombies. Oh crap. Reload, reload, reload. Don't aggro, don't aggro. Maybe be careful, there's definitely more zombies or more dogs rather. Running around out here. Come on, please, 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 please. And now I'm encumbered as well. That's kind of sucks. Because I'm encumbered, I'm going to have a much harder time as well. Come on, come on, come on. I just don't want to get jumped by dogs right now. I don't mind wasting my pistol ammo a bit, but when it comes to like dogs and stuff, we need to use our shotgun. As you guys saw, uh, on the dogs, it takes one shot to the face or two if you miss. And then you should be able to quickly kill them. Right now, this thing has a bunker underneath. Hopefully, we don't have to go underneath. Like the fact that we're so encumbered right now sucks. Um, let's see if I can't make some space quickly. It's dog food, yes. Another wolf. Yeah, it's free meat, but they're all over. We need to be careful. Please don't tell me the fetch quest is downstairs. There's a bunker with all of you downstairs. Yep, okay, it's downstairs. So basically, you can go through the roof, or you can just go through this over here, and you should get directly to where you need to be. I wonder if I shouldn't... It's gonna call attention to ourselves. But at least this way. And see, all of these zombies are asleep, right? It's only when you start shooting one, where all of them wake up. Oh, she's radiated. Or was radiated, rather. See, the stash we're looking for is down there. And there's usually a fat zombie protecting this over here, so you need to be careful. Oh yeah, not this time. There's that door, thank you. I'm gonna have to use the GFX uh, AF textures again. Because at the moment, unfortunately, it seems that uh, the HD textures are failing us. I mean, it's not that big a deal. But it's nice to be able to see HD boxes and zombies and stuff. This blurriness just means that the HD textures, uh, textures are themselves are failing. Yeah, more zombies are gonna come downstairs, you have to be careful. Any dogs? Right, right there. Um, can I destroy it like this? Come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. Oh, we can actually get out of here, nice. Oh, that's locked. That's a shame. If that wasn't locked, I'd actually be able to get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I have to be careful of zombies just breaking in from all over. But you guys, let's just quickly go hand this in. And then we're going to get all of the rewards for this now, so that's going to be awesome. The only problem is now we don't have any co uh, coffee or anything that's actually going to allow us to run fast. So as long as we're not encumbered, I think for now we should be fine though. But the fact that we don't have... Oh, I have this so if, in case we're encumbered, but that's about it. But yeah, we need to be careful of all the dogs and stuff right now. It says return to traders, let's go. Okay, see, the dog or the wolf rather immediately saw us. So especially the uh, big spiders, the small spider, I don't think we can survive. But these smaller one, or other ones at least, we should be able to kill most of them. And the line... 
Come on, I need some XP. I need XP. Okay, so while we're waiting over here, let's just quickly see. Intellect, we need to go into Daring Adventure. This one needs to be level 8 now. So we need about 6 more points, 3 more levels. To be able to make sure we get the most points. We are going to run into more zombie dogs. I think this was the di direction I saw them in, so I need to repair. Damn, that sucks. Now we finally are on our last stretch over here. Uh, we're going to definitely run past one of the dogs, or perhaps even a spider. But I'm going to run all the way back and then see you guys at the trader. Because, yeah, this is going to take too much time just keeping all of this stuff in. Okay, so we need to be careful. I just ran past a radiated spy or snake. Um, yeah, those things are tough. <laughs> so if one of those bites us, we're going to have a little bit of a mark on us. Also, guys, I just realized we are playing this series on 125% XP. My uh, my Wood Knight Every Night series is on 300% uh, XP series. So, or, uh, not, not series, but you guys get what I mean. So the big difference that I mean right now is, in that series, because we level up so fast from 300%, we were able to max out Daring Adventure before even getting the first quest reward for, uh, for Tier 1. I just realized, if you check over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They made it now just 8 or 9. They made now the payout to get to tier 2, just 8, not 10 quests anymore. So we are definitely going to get the bicycle now, or pieces of the bicycle. I hope it's pieces that we need, or it's easy enough to make, basically. I really hope we basically get everything. Okay, fetch quest, that's too far away, clear zombies, that's here. Gas station 1. Okay, I need to remember that. Gas station 1. Okay, art of mining or ammo? Um, auto mining does what? Learn how to craft lanterns, mining hats, and helmets. We already have this. Or rather, we already have the hat. So I should actually go for this or the ammo. Let's go for the ammo. Okay, so it's gas station level one. I have a dilemma. We already did the gas station one. Uh, buried supplies. I don't know how easy it's going to get to be able to get to that, but let's just try it. Brilliant. I guess this if you go a little bit into our digging skill, we might be able to find it fast. Time is money. Now, Adrian, you don't have any. Oh, actually, I have quite a bit. Please tell me you have other jobs. Northwest. Okay, more buried supplies. The next episode is unfortunately going to be a digging episode because we need to make sure we don't do the same quest over and over. But you can call me Dr. Jen. Ooh, see now this, we need both. 762 ammo for our M60 or Molotovs. Molotovs burn the zombies fast. So I think for now we're going to take the Molotovs. Any more jobs? Buried supplies? Clear zombies? This one shouldn't be the same. This one is this gas station me. one, no? Oh, come on. The Duke's gonna slap you. Look like you can handle Branch it. Branch one, yes. Oh, I would we need to make sure it's a different quest. You know, hygiene and all. Okay, now he should give me... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't hand into this one. What? No, I did. Wait, did I not, did I not do all the quests just now? I could have sworn we did eight. Unless now in Where's UK it's still ten. Which means we do still have time to actually just make sure we level up our skill. Ooh, just realized this as well. Nice. But yeah, that gives us time to quickly go into our daring adventure a bit. What I'm going to do is make sure we invest quite a bit. But yeah, we just need two more points for level eight. And then one point over here. So we have the one point. We just need one more level. And we're very close. So I wonder if I should just stay in the area and build and upgrade a bit. Because that should give us all the points we need to level up just one more time. Um, because I want to make sure before we even start these quests... Well, then again, while we do these quests, we can just about do it as well, right? I just need to remember to actually do it and not forget. But this is going to be so awesome. Oh, um, let's do this. But yeah, this is going to be really, really awesome. I wonder if the lockpicks really aren't that worth it right now. But guys, if I can make sure that we have Daring Adventure next episode... Yeah, if, uh, if we get this daring adventure skill of here, for those of you who don't know, look at this. It uh, gives you, uh, you can now choose two quest rewards and get 20% more dukes. So we, we just were able to, for example, only take the Molotovs over the ammo. If we have that skill, we can take both. Okay, yeah, uh, for now guys, I'm going to call it episode. We actually got really, really far. I'm happy with the progress we made. Um, it is going to be nighttime looting again and it seems clear, clear. Okay, we're going to do the clears first, I think, then the buried supplies. Because with clears, we're able to level up. We can come back, and then with a bicycle we get from this, we can go for the buried supplies. Also, we need to first invest these points in the Daring Adventurer, and then we need to go for this one over here. So it's easier to get the um, 
For every 7 blocks dug up, the treasure search rate just reduces. Without the perk, you have to dig 10 blocks. So if we destroy t uh, 7 blocks of dirt, the circle around the treasure gets smaller and smaller. And the more you go up over here, 5 blocks, every, four, every 5 blocks, or every 3 blocks. So as soon as you get to over here, it's going to make it so much easier to dig. Unfortunately for this, we're going to need to at least have 3 more levels. So for these clear quests, they are godsend at the moment because we need as many skill points as possible. But if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments, tips, or feedback, leave down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for more some for some more Where's UK fun. Thank you to all my members and Patreons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description.